Welcome back to the vlog. It is a dreary Monday. I mean, it looks like it's kind of nice, but it's raining. It's it's gonna rain all day. Thankfully, I coordinated with an indoor facility here. Go and practice today, because I knew the forecast was gonna be bad. Just gonna get some practice done indoors, and then show you guys the numbers and all that uh, fun stuff. This is one of the things you gotta do on a crappy, crappy day. You still gotta get some work in. players do this, especially like Justin Rose, he's a Ian Poulter. I'm gonna do a track man combine and see just how good I am at uh, my wedge play carrying the exact number. So we're doing what, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 to start. 20, then 120, 140, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 80 yards was a strength of mine, 70 was a major struggle, so hopefully I can keep stepping up at night. shots in my combine and it's a challenge there's yardages that I'm really comfortable with and there's a couple yardages that I'm really struggling with and then add to the fact that I do struggle hitting balls indoors but this is uh, eye-opening I need to kind of narrow in and hone down especially on 70 yards 90 yards yeah those are the two that were really a struggle so now you go back and we do the combine again so three balls at each of the ten yardages and uh, see what we can get our final score at. That was an awesome, awesome experience at Coastal. I've actually never done the TrackMan Combine before. I think I would perform a little bit better outside because I like having a target I can react to as opposed to simply going off the feel and picking a little target. Like there's a little orange uh, string he had there that basically is your target. I'm happy with the overall result, but there's certainly areas that I need to improve on. So that was a, a good thing to walk away with from uh, this time practicing on a rainy day indoors. That coastal facility, it's awesome. It's really, really special. I'm glad they reached out on Instagram and just invited me to come in and I'll definitely be making good use of it. It's just two minutes from my house here in Jacksonville. So really awesome there. And there's a lot of uh, tour players that practice there. So that's really, really special. Brian's an awesome guy. So it's great to see him doing well. I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, just some of the cool things about this track man thing. I'll show you. So if you look, I've got a breakdown of, of everything in here. Overall score, kind of there's more where my handicap would be. And then it shows me each club. And then I can pull up all of the information I want. Club speed, ball speed, spin rate, angle of attack, carry total, all these things. And it shows me the areas that are, are strengths. Um, so if you look at one of my strongest areas, 80 yards you know I averaged nine feet from the pin that's that's pretty good there and then if you look where's another strength 120 yards averaging 11 feet from the pin you know what I've learned here is these are the the areas that I would benefit from laying up to as opposed to you know certain areas 70 was you know not not so good 15 feet from the pin that's not very good so that's an area that I would avoid laying up to but an area I would spend a bit more time practicing and, and honing in on. But yeah, look at this. Breakdown of everything from every club I hit, every distance I hit, driver, that was really good. That score, 90, boom, that's good to know. Hit a couple hundreds straight down the middle. But it breaks down dispersion and I can you know 
take certain uh, shots out of there, certain yardages out of there if I really want to look at specific numbers. I mean, you can take it all out. If I just want to look at 60 and 70 yards, well, we'll take all of these out of here so it really shows me 60 and 70 yards. Uh, club data, everything. This is really, really helpful, so I'm going to take this into account when I practice moving forward, but what's going to be great is coming back to the combine uh, when I'm back here uh, for a couple weeks in June and seeing if I can improve on that overall number, 84 and a half. 87 is the best. 87 and change is the best at Coastal. So we got to, we got a few, a little bit to go. I think if I tighten up these yardages here, we'll really, really knock it off and maybe get to the top of the, the Coastal indoor leaderboard. I hope you enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun to show you this and do this and make good use of the rainy day. So give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'm going to see you just in a couple days, uh, April 27th. I'm hitting the road for Canada, but I'm hopefully going to have an upload for you. And then I'm also going to be filming Q&A with Kelly, with my girlfriend, while we drive up. So get ready to throw your questions onto Instagram when I post asking for those questions. I'll see you guys in, uh, in a couple days. Peace.